Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Live Net TV app to your Fire Stick. If you don't know what a Live Net TV app is, it's an amazing application which you can use to watch live TV as well as live sports free of charge. And there are lots of channels from all over the world. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get that amazing app to your Fire Stick device. And the very first step is getting the app code downloader to your Fire Stick. If you already have the downloader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have downloader yet or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then just follow me. So we have to go to the search bar on the Fire TV Stick, which you can access by clicking that little button with a magnifying glass icon and then at the bottom a search bar will appear. So we open it and start using this keyboard, which you can access on the screen, to start typing downloader in a search bar. And now, as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So it means there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. You'll click on downloader and here's the app which you need to get to your device. But now, after you got downloader, it is not over yet, because you still need to set it up, obviously, before using it. So, to set up downloader, we'll go to settings by clicking that little button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. You open it, and now in here, what you have to do is turn on developer options for your Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Let's open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging. Then the next step is you have to go to install unknown apps and from here, all you have to do is locate a downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. So we go back to the list of apps on the Fire Stick. Here it is. Let's open it, and now there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on the Fire Stick. But before actually using the downloader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing, and it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use and they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a couple of bucks per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All you have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server. Let's say we'll connect to Germany right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is gonna be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, or in the description of this video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone, or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website 
which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we just go back to the list of apps on your device, locate Downloader and open it up. And now when Downloader opens, what you have to do in here is open the search bar, which is in the middle of your screen, and then this virtual keyboard will pop up. So we'll be entering a code which will allow us to download the LiveNet TV app to your Amazon Fire Stick. The code is, go is gonna be 504524. So once again, it's 504524. That is the code you have to enter. And make sure not to make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then of course the code will not work for you. Then click on go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you would get even more content about Firesticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot. Now, this website will open up for you. And when it opens, you just scroll it down a bit until you see the download for Amazon Fire TV button. Obviously, that is exactly what we are looking for. Click on download for Amazon Fire Stick, and now the download of the app has started. Usually, it does not take long, but of course, it all depends on your connection speed. Then, you gotta click install and just wait a bit until the installation finishes. And after that, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, which you don't need any more on your Fire Stick device. So you click on delete and delete once again. This way you save yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And that's really important, because by default your Fire Stick doesn't have too much of free space available anyway. Then you will go back to the list of apps on your device and open it. And here in the list at the bottom you will be able to locate live Net TV app on your Fire Stick. Now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. It's right next to the home button on your remote. So click on it, and as you can see, a menu will appear in the right side of your screen. In the menu, you have to click on move to front. This way, Live Net TV application will always be at the very top of your app list. And this way, it will be easier for you to access it on your Fire Stick. Just do not forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use the link below this video to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. Then we open the LiveNet TV application on the Fire Stick. And in here, you'll get access to live TV as well as live sports channels from all over the world, including US, UK, Canada, Australia, Europe, and so on. I just had to blur out my screen because YouTube does not allow me to show you the exact channels available in this app. But in your case, of course, it's not gonna be blurry. So enjoy it all and see you next time. Bye bye.